Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. When last we left off, we were in this cave for the witch. I say cave because, as you can quite plainly see, it's not very cave-like. Also, this is a trap chest. I am overburdened. Ooh. Perhaps you should bear some of well, my load. Well, good news is that um, it only drained my strength. Hopefully not permanently. Let's uh, get a restoration on that. There we go, it's back. It also dealt some damage, too, but uh, we can deal with the damage. So, we were going to go back into here and refight all of the mephits <laughs> and imps. I think they were all just mephits, actually. Which is funny, because they all mostly keep hurting themselves with their various breaths and attacks. Yeah, Sarkin can deal with all of these methods. However, Sharwin can certainly help. There were a few... Whoa! Sharwin is intent on killing those! Like, Sharwin's actually intent on just... tanking a lot of damage. Okay, Sharwin. You might need some help here. I think it's his, uh... Sarkin, who will be able to help you. Yeah, I don't think these methods are going to be too much trouble for me, but, uh... Crumbit? Maybe could, uh, just appear at some point? If you would appear, Crumpet, that would be great, but right now you're just... not helping. I wish you would help right now, Crumpet. That would be good, but no. I don't know, the, um... All these books have changed, I think. Yeah, they're all changed. These books are random. Why hasn't Crumpet followed? I really want Crumpet to... Crumpet. <laughs> Was that because I told Crumpet to stand his ground or to stay there? Is that why? It could be. And that would be my fault. Okay, let's cast Stone Skin, because I get the feeling that these rooms are going to be tricky. While we're at it, actually, let's summon that other extra bear! More bears! Excellent. Now we have more bears! It's a shame we can't use it to summon, like, the um, later summons to summon... Oh, hello! Water elementals! Buy one of those legendary in-cave trees. I don't think these water elementals are going to do very well, unfortunately. I'm sorry. You are going to perish. And perish you did. And there was some gold. And some more gold. And that's about it. So, what's in here? Ah! Flesh golems. Intruder, destroy, destroy. Why does this witch have a flesh golem? That's not great. I'm not true undead. These ghoulish constructs are crafted from collections of stone human body parts stitched together into single composite form. Basically, um, flesh golems can berserk. And when they berserk, that's pretty much it. You can't remove that berserk status. And they get quite a few nasty bonuses. It's basically being punched and kicked to death. I wish the rest of my party would come and help. But they seem to be trapped. Oh, there we go! Little... You're not coming to help me? You're gonna go try and deal with that beetle? Really? Out of all the things you can try and hit, the beetle. I see a one-track mind has been engaged. Okay, fine. We'll open the thing so you can fight the easy difficulty beetles. While I go look at these boxes and nurse my wounds. I think it was, uh... Yeah, I don't think these monsters are particularly difficult. But I could be wrong. Oh! Is that the other druid? Sorry. Oh. 
This door and this lock is too complex to pick. You'll have to find the proper key. Oh. Well, looks like we are not going to be releasing you. Just yet. We're gonna have to find the key, which is probably being held by the witch. Sorry. This beautiful woman has a proud, almost arrogant look about her that detracts from an almost perfect face. Greetings to you. All I want to do all I want to do is get back to the grove and take a bath. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to free you. I'm gonna look in these urns while we're Ow. It's a good thing I tanked that. Did I actually pick up the necklace? I didn't. Whoa! Hello. Sneaky! Out of our way! Sneaky! Very sneaky. Nice! That was not at all what I anticipated. Invisible stalkers hiding in corridors waiting for us. Ah, here is Satara. This ancient creature is almost... What in Suni's name are you doing in my house? This ancient creature is almost too unbearably hideous to look at. The forest is destroying itself all around you, and I'm trying to find a way to save it. Do you think that gives you the right to barge into my home? You come in here, slaughter my servants, help yourself to my possessions, and you think that noble intentions suffice to explain your actions? I'm sorry, but your creatures, or servants as you call them, attacked me first. You were an intruder in my home. My servants were merely trying to protect me, as good servants should. So why would you think that there would be anything in my home that could help you save the forest? I heard that you were a friend of forest creatures and thought you might know something that could assist me. If I knew anything that could really help the animals, I would certainly have done something about it. I have been doing some research, but I haven't got very far. What I don't do is help people. You come to stare and humiliate me. Just because I have fallen so far from a glamorous beauty to a despised fright. I didn't come to Gork. What happened to you? It's none of your business and I don't like to talk about it. If you're interested, there is something you could do to help me, though. If you really want my help, you should show me trust by telling me what happened to you. I don't know why you should care, but if it will convince you to help me, then I guess I can tell you. When I turned 30, I found that I had my first noticeable wrinkle. The thought of my beauty fading terrified me. I decided I would try to make a potion of longevity to help keep me young. I... I won't tell you all the details. Somehow I messed up the potion, and when I drank it, instead of becoming 15 years younger, I aged a hundred years. I have sustained my life in ways I cannot discuss, but I have found a solution to my problem. If you will only help me. What can I do to help you? The only thing that holds true value for me is my beauty. There is a nymph who lives in this forest who has a mirror that can return my beauty. I overheard two dryads talking about it just before this trouble started. Nymphs live in the northeast of here. I would get it myself, but I can't go really anywhere near her. The unearthly beauty of her face physically hurts me, and she, and she shuns me because I'm ugly. Please, please get me the mirror. Okay, I will get this mirror for you. Oh, thank you. You dear man, I look forward to the return to the, of the dazzling beauty I once possessed. Should you be successful, I will gladly give you a precious gem and tell you what I know of the druids. If, indeed, that is the reward you desire, then... <laughs> Good luck, and don't be long, please. You have returned. Does that mean you have found the mirror? I have the mirror right here. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! I am glad, so glad I trusted you with this task. Now, if you will just give it to me. Then I can be cured. You will be blessed to look upon my true dazzling beauty. I want the gem and information, though. Of course. Here is the gem. You should be able to get something for it from that elf, Elaith, in port last. He seems quite desperate for it. Ah! Yes, we do need one of those gems, as I recall. You can find a druid locked in the southwestmost room. Here is the key for the cell door. Don't worry, she has not been harmed. Look at me. It worked. I'm beautiful again. I'll bet that you never expected me to be so incredibly stunning now, did you? Uh, you're right. You are definitely striking to look at. Oh, it's true. It's true. And you are quite perceptive, so I'll help you even more. 
I found an old book that talks about entering the realm of the spirit of the woods. It is in my library in the southeast of here. Good luck, adventurers. It is unlike the um, item in Serpent Isle. In Serpent Isle, we got an item that made people... Basically, it restored... Even though it didn't actually cure them of whatever ailed them, because you remember one of them uh, kind of had her skin torn off. It made her look like she was before. It didn't actually sort the problem. I know my beauty keeps drawing you back, but please leave my house now. But, um, the, um... Fair enough. Basically, it's it's a not-as-effective version of that... Oh, Fair I accidentally enough. called Sharwin away instead of the bears, and the bears ripped open their chest. But, uh... Basically, it's a less effective version of that, because it only makes her think that she is, um, had a beauty restore, but in actuality, she hasn't. Here is another flesh golem. <laughs> you didn't tell me <laughs> that there was a flesh golem guarding this. With You're, of course, not going to stop the flesh golem from attacking me, are you? Of course not. So I'm going to have to fight this flesh golem to get access to this book that's going to let me get access to the spirit world. And then deal with whatever is beyond. We are not doing very well at dealing with this golem. This golem is doing a good job of hurting me, but fortunately we managed to deal with it. And uh, those are not the books we want. Ah! This looks like an important book. Is this the same book? Oh. It is the same book. We've in fact now got this book twice. Okay. So we actually didn't need... You back, but please leave my house now. We're going to, we're just gonna keep exploring a little more. There are a few more things we want to look at. Accident. Oh, that is a dane. Oh, is that another magic bag? We want that. Let us leave now before uh, she gets annoyed at us. I know my beauty keeps drawing you back. But please leave my house. Fortunately, we can't hear her if we're all the way over here. She is basically, I think, going to keep saying that forever now. I don't think she's ever not going to say that. But we have managed to get all the information we need. In theory, we actually didn't need to uh, find out about the book, because we already had a copy of the book. But it's always nice to have more than one copy of the book. Crumpet is all the way over there. Now he is here. That is a way to solve that. Greetings to you. Leave my face alone, you horrible... Uh, oh, wait. You're not that ghastly hag. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm Sarkin. And who are you? My name is Bree. Besides being the most beautiful druid in the Neverwinter Wood, I am also one of the druids who was investigating the problems with the wood spirit. Why don't you tell me what happened to you? I was wandering through the forest, dodging encounters with the normal inhabitants. There was no point in even trying to speak with the animals. They were almost rabid with fear and anger. Then I thought of the witch. <laughs> Why would you seek the witch? The animals have always held the witch in high esteem. She protects and helps them quite often. I figured that the spirit probably wouldn't have any control over her mind, so perhaps she would be the source of information. I found the witch in a clearing near here. She was harvesting some herbs at the time, and so I came out quietly and waited for her to notice me. She worked for a while, then turned and smiled at me. Her eyes remained fixed on my face for a long time. Why did you, would she stare at your face? Are you blind? My radiant beauty stunned her, the poor thing. She just seemed to admire my looks. No surprise, really, since she certainly has none. She convinced me to enter her house, and we sat down to have tea. We talked a little, but then I started to get dizzy, and I realized there was something in my tea. Next thing I know, I was locked in this room. The witch came in and muttered something about stealing my face. I don't know what she meant by that, although if I had her face, I'd want a different one too. And also, I'm very modest. Did I tell you how modest I am? No, please tell me. I'm very modest. Yes. Now that you've freed me, I will return to the grove and consult with the other druids about the spirit of the wood. Tell me what you've learned about the spirit of the wood. 
It's gone insane! The whole forest is caught up in its insanity, and if someone doesn't stop it soon, I fear the creatures will start tearing each other apart. The spirit is normally peaceful and comes into the wood through its pool to tend to the creatures. Since the violence began, the spirit hasn't come through at all. If it had, I would have tried talking to it. How do you think the spirit of the wood would have reacted to you? I don't know what it would have done. It might have attacked me, but I would have tried anyways. It's the source of the problem. The pool is some kind of entrance to another realm where the spirit usually lives. I haven't the slightest idea what the other realm looks like, though. Why did you go into it? I don't know much about the pool, just stories. I do know that no living creature can get through the portal and into the other side. And then it starts repeat. She started repeating herself. Do you need my help escaping, or can you make it out on your own? I can make it out on my own. I'll meet up with you at the Druid Grove. Carry the image of my beautiful face in your mind, for good luck. Farewell. Uh, the exit's that way. No, it's alright, I'll just fade out of existence eventually. Like everyone does. Right. I'm gonna go over here and loot things. Because we still have this whole other small area to loot things. And then we can actually go and deal with the spirit of the wood. That's probably being influenced by the cult of the eye. Because that sounds a lot like what they do. And we'll avoid that trap. But we'll go into here. Maybe in here there's something important. Or in there. I haven't gone to that room yet either. Or there could just be a crate. With a bolt. One solitary vault. Okay, here's a bit of gold. And we'll look in that room over there because we haven't been in that room yet. And then I think we'll just explore the rest of the deep part of uh, Neverwinter Wood. I think that sounds like a plan. Monsters? No. There is a treasure chest, though, and a bookshelf. We don't want that. We don't want that either. Well, we don't want it being locked. You do what you need to do, Shawan. Excellent. And in here was a scroll. A useful scroll, but still a scroll. And with that, we are done with this cave. So let's leave the cave and head back into the heart of the forest. And immediately attack a deer. There's a massive hole here. That hole is huge. And there is nothing of particular over there. So there is the Spirit Falls, which I think is where we would need to go to... Uh... Actually, if we explore the way up there, we get this little bit of the map filled in. I... No, we actually don't. Fair enough. So we'll just explore the rest of this uh, area. I feel a bit sad for killing the ancient dire bear. Mainly because... Oh! Oh, wait, no, there's just a bear. Well, let's kill it. And the deers. Hopefully we'll be able to kill the bear before it kills us. Oh yeah! With everyone fighting it, it's not that hard. I'm sorry, dear. But you must perish. Also, an unidentified potion. I don't think that's a potion I've seen before. We'll let you uh, handle that. This chest is locked. Do you want to come over and unlock it? Crumpet yeah. certainly does. We'll let Crumpet do it, shall we? He's got this in hand. Or rather, in paw. There we go. That's a potion of lore. That's fine. There isn't actually that much of this area to explore. There isn't at all. In fact, we have explored this entire area with the exception of a tiny little bit in the middle here where there is a deer. And with that, we <laughs> have only one more place to go. And that is the end of this uh, little segment, which is the Spirit Falls. We figured out all we need to figure out. We figured out that uh, there is the um, there is a skeleton on it. That's a little bit of foreshadowing. We figured out that we need this knife, we figured out we need to plunge it into our chests in this area, and we figured out that we need a incantation to say well, we're doing that, which we have here. So, when we come back, folks, we will 
hopefully go into the spirit realm and uh, talk to the spirit of the wood. And hopefully not die horribly. There's a few caveats there. Few caveats there. But uh, we really don't want to get involved with. As in we don't want to die. And yet apparently we do. But not actually. My head hurts thinking about this. It's okay. I don't think anybody really understands how convoluted this ritual is. Yes. Very convoluted. Catch you then folks. Later.